Good morning guys, or afternoon, or good evening, or whenever time you're watching this. Um, I am not dressed, and there's a reason for that. <laughs> I have a cruddy shirt on, my makeup is not done as you can tell, and my hair is pulled back because I have a unique video for you guys today. Um, about four months ago, my daughter came home from playing with a little girl in the neighborhood, and she was like, my head itches, and I was like, okay, what does that mean? I didn't think anything of it at first but she started scratching really bad at the base of her neck and then I realized um, she has lice. So I ended up doing a whole bunch of research and there are clinics in the area, at least in our area, we live in Southern California, um, that do a lice check. They check to see if you have lice. They also do um, a treatment which is guaranteed up to 30 days, but it's $100 per person and they recommend that everybody in the family get checked. So if anybody else has the lice, you can get them treated as well. And once again, it has a 30 day like money back guarantee. So if for some reason they don't get rid of the lice the first time, you can go back and they can redo it. So we decided to do the natural method, which worked really, really well. So I wanted to share that with you guys today. So we're gonna use two products and it's gonna be a little bit of a process but i'm going to show you how we got rid of it i'm going to show you how we maintain you know how we maintain to keep from getting lice again and a lot of people think it's it's meant because it, you get lice because you're dirty but it's actually the opposite lice like clean hair they like it to be soft and smooth because they can attach to the hair follicle and what is really hard to get rid of is actually the nits which is why they call it nitpicky because it is really really hard to get the nits out so i wanted to show you guys that this was the original um product that we used we got it from target and i also got the comb it's just called the nyx and this is the stage one but it says on there be really careful not to get it in the eyes so it smells and it is i don't know it's just full of chemicals and i just didn't prefer this method and it didn't even work for us it did not work So the first sign that you'll see is that this will, this down here will be really red and irritated. You won't actually see the nits or the lice until you really start to comb through the layers and see if you find anything white. So after I've sectioned her hair off into four sections, um, what I do is I take this blue comb and I literally just go through one row of hair at a time and I just double check to see if there's any type of nits in there that need to be removed. And you can get these combs off of Amazon, but I got it out of that NYX box. Okay, so, so far I have just sectioned off her hair just to make it a little bit easier because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply olive oil. Um, actually, I'm gonna put, I think, canola oil. tip I wanted to give you guys was that a lot of times you might mistake dandruff as the nits but if you take the dandruff or the white particle in the hair and like flick it if it moves at all it is not a knit a knit is literally glued to the hair so it will not move unless you like I had to take my thumbnail and drag it out of her hair follicle she has thin fine hair so the comb doesn't even really work the comb works to get the bugs out but not the nits so if you think you have it make sure that it's not dandruff <laughs>
Now I'm starting the process of actually putting the oil in her hair and I used canola oil in this one but you can use any type of oil that you want. I actually used um, vegetable oil the last time and you can get this at the Dollar Tree or um, I believe we got this at the commissary. There's all obviously you can get it at Walmart or Target but I just literally soak her hair completely in the olive oil. So as you can see, I'm only doing one side of her hair because obviously I'm doing both sides, but there's no point in showing two different sides of hair being done. Once I feel like her, her hair has been coated on all, all four sides, I go back and I make sure and saturate it, which is why she's giving me this look going, oh my gosh, that's so much oil. <laughs> I will then fully comb through it one last time and then I usually put it in a high bun ponytail or a high bun on the very top of her head before I secure it with another elastic. Now I'm taking the Young Living Tea Tree Oil. I take about two drops, I rub it in my fingers, and then I just take it and massage it into the oil. And that just helps um, sort of prevent the lice from living, and it also, I guess, deters them from staying on her head. The other recommendation that I would have is to not use like the cloth um, ponytail holders like what I have in my hair right now. I would use the plastic ones because the lice cannot get into these. So these are like a lifesaver. Um, so normally she would sleep in this. I would put a little Dollar Tree net on her head. She would go to sleep like this and um, let it sit overnight because it just sort of like like hardens or it's supposed to kill off all of the lice and the bugs. Um, so obviously because it's 11 o'clock in the morning, she's not gonna sleep in it tonight, but we are gonna go rinse it. I'm gonna show you how I rinse it and then I'm gonna show you the whole process of what I do to finish treating her hair. We are just going to get some plain Dawn dishwashing liquid. You want the Dawn, you want the, the actual Dawn. I got this in the dollar section or I got this $4 at Target because this actually washes all of the grease out of the hair. Can you go so, there? One more. No. So, um, I'm gonna turn on the water as hot as she can possibly stand it, and then we're going to rinse the oil out. We're gonna wash her hair with Dawn two times, and then we're gonna start the drying process.
right guys, so at this point, we have switched from the cloth headband, or the cloth ponytail, to the plastic, because we know that her hair is clean, but we still need to go through and see if there are any, any lice or nits left. So I'm gonna run through it with the comb, just on half of it, just so I can show you guys what I do, and then we're gonna go back and I'm gonna show you what I do afterwards to make sure that they're all gone and show you how we maintain clean hair and um, to keep her lice free for the future. Lice cannot live more than I think 12 to 24 hours off of the, of the source. So usually if you wash your bedding, I would say all week, we have two sets of sheets that we alternate on her bed to make sure that she's not gonna get it again. But we also um, make sure that she has her hair pulled back in a ponytail, in a braid, in a bun, something. As we use this LA hair gel, I will brush through her hair. I will look to see if there are any knits. I will put the gel in and I will use the knit comb to brush through it. And then after that, um, what we'll do is we will put some product in her hair. We're gonna use this Aussie, um, if you'll focus, we're gonna use the Aussie um, detangling spray. Then I will either braid her hair or put it in a bun. And then I'll probably put some hairspray in it because I wanna make sure that there's plenty of products in there that it's not necessarily clean, um, but it's gonna keep the bugs away. So here I'm just retracing my steps. I'm going back through each little strand or each little section of hair with the thin comb and then I'm gonna go back through with the knit comb just to like triple check that I have all of the lice, all of the knits and that everything looks clean. Here's where she just discovered that she had a loose tooth, so she was wiggling it like crazy to try and get it out at that moment. So obviously to get this whole job done, I would sit here for like an hour or two and literally go through every little strand for this video. Obviously I'm not doing that. I'm just going to give you the cliff note version basically. And one of the final steps that I do is I take my flat iron and this is a Chi, it could be any brand. And I go through each section of hair about three times and the first time is when I concentrate on the most heat. I want to make sure and kill those suckers off as just as quickly as I can. I just wanted to point out to you guys that she does have a couple of little spots in her hair that um, are white, but they are movable. And I'm not gonna be able to zoom in, but literally if I can like blow it or if I can move it with my finger, that means that it is not a knit. A knit will literally, you'll have to like find it in the hair. It'll be white 
and you'll take your fingernail and literally you'll have to like pinch it and you'll have to literally drag it out of the hair like that because it is it has like a glue like substance onto the hair and it will stick like they're like nobody's business This time she had requested that I double braid her hair so I just split it down the middle and of course I was doing the French braid and the reason I like to do this is because as I'm going through each section I can double check and see if there's any kind of knits or if there's any other bugs that are still in there. I also wanted to mention that of course I braided the other side, I just did not show it in this video. And the last step that I was taking was to take this Aussie hairspray and I'm just coating her head completely in this just to make sure that I have everything done. Uh, that was pretty much the step-by-step -step, like directions or instructions that I use to clean our hair, clean my daughter's hair. So I will do this almost for an entire week. One, once the week is over, then I will do like every three days because I want to just triple check that they are completely gone because they are such a hassle to get rid of. And then what I do afterwards is once I'm sure that they are 100% gone, I will go back through probably every three days and I will coat her hair in the, um, the conditioning spray. I will make sure that her hair is dirty after she washes her hair so that they can't stick in her hair. And please make sure that you keep your kid's head off of somebody else's head because that is the best way to spread the lice. Um, the last step that I will do is I will take every comb that I used and I will soak it in 90% or 91% alcohol overnight because I want to make sure those things are dead. Um, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I used two different hairbrushes on her, uh, one before I washed her hair and treated it and one after because I wanted to make sure not to, if there was anything on the hairbrush, it wasn't going to go back onto the hair. So I would normally take like bed sheets and blankets and pillowcases. I will cover her pillowcase or her pillow in a trash bag. I will pull it tight and she will sleep with the trash bag on her pillow underneath the pillowcase for about a week just to make sure that the lice are not getting in her pillow. Anyways, I hope this was informative. I hope this was helpful. If you guys enjoyed this, give us a thumbs up. Um, don't forget to subscribe. I have some really good videos coming and we will, get, we will talk to you in the next video. Thank you for watching guys. Bye. I'm going to go get dressed now. <laughs>